Yeah, in case you guys are wondering, I don't drink alcohol, so... But if you guys remember from my Auto Wing and a Prayer review, so yeah. Hmm. I had to get something up for this, so... Because today we are talking about Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Oh god, I really don't know what to say, guys, to even start this review. So... But I will just say this is going to be kind of different than my traditional review. I definitely will talk about the negatives with this film and why it's awful. But I'm also going to be talking about some of the Twitter drama that happened with this film that I have really just want to get off my chest. So, without further ado, let's just get it done. After they're abandoned by Christopher Robin, Winnie the Pooh and Piglet become feral beasts hunting down Christopher Robin and a group of girls that are hanging that are staying down at a remote cabin in the Hundred Acre Woods. What The way I actually first heard about this film was because of my good buddy Zach Milne, aka Zach Milne Talks Movies, so shout out to you my friend. The reason why I heard about this film was because uh, somebody brought it up in one of our live streams, and it was to a certain degree where I, and, like, I actually saw like the pictures and everything, like the set photos and, so, and some of that stuff that kind of was promoting this movie. And I was like, it looks seriously like a fan film. Like, it, the costume looks really low budget, and I really don't know what they're going to be doing with this. So, and then essentially I saw the trailer and I was like, this looks really, really bad. And if you really want something good out of this movie, I don't think you're going to get it. Because the biggest problem with this film is, because, is that it takes itself way too seriously... And it doesn't even try to have fun. Like, that's the biggest problem with this film. It doesn't even try to have fun. Like, it just takes itself so seriously. It doesn't even try to, like, do any, like, Winnie the Pooh voices. Like, um, like, you know, childlike voice acting. Like, we're Winnie the Pooh stabbing somebody and, oh, bother. Or, like, there's no Winnie the Pooh signature kills. Like, where he puts a honey pot in somebody's head, smashes it with a sledgehammer. Or drowning somebody in molten hot honey. Or even, like... Filling up the pot, honey pot with acid and then just throwing the acid. Like, there's nothing like that in this movie. And it's just insulting to me. Like, even as for somebody that loved watching Winnie the Pooh growing up, uh, that's that's kind of a big problem. Like, when you want to take a Winnie the Pooh concept, basically, of making him into a slasher killer, you got to at least have some fun with it. But the biggest problem is that they don't. And even going into some of the Twitter drama, like... The production company was actually coming at some content creators, not going to name names, but they were coming at some content creators for some of their very negative thoughts on this movie, and I was like, look guys, you created something that you charge people for, so I don't know what your problem is, and plus, you need to t you should just take the win because you made $3.8 million in one week, so I really don't know why you're going to people's comment sections not just on YouTube, but also on Twitter, regarding, like, the negative response that they gave your film. Because, here it is, here's the thing. I pay you money for an experience, and if it's not good whatsoever, you hear about it. That's how it works. Like, re like it doesn't matter what response it is, good or bad, you hear about it. And that's exactly what, what this movie is. Like, and seriously, if you're going to take issue with that, Go ahead. But seriously, just stop going to people's comment sections and stop dumping on them. Like, for anyone that even has an issue with their film, we're trying to be as respectful as we can. Like, seriously, you, you got the money back that you... You got the money back. Your idea worked. So, take the money and actually tr try to do something better. Like, if we actually try to do something better, you might as well have a four-star slasher with the sequel. Yeah, I wanted to try to get that off my chest because I'm sick and tired of it. Enough with the drama, just respect everybody's opinions, and move on in life. You won. That's all I gotta say about that. Anyways, back to the review. So, the thing is with this film, the reason why this film doesn't even try to have fun is because the biggest thing is, like, again, the costumes are low budget, and they don't even, like, do any Winnie the Pooh signature kills. Every single kill you see in this movie is everything you've seen in a normal slasher film. People getting strangled or anything like that, like getting stabbed, getting their throat slit, anything like that. You've seen it all before. Like, I mean, maybe the car kill, but I don't want to get into it because it's, it's ridiculous. 
and the gore is mostly cut away it's obscured in the background and even for the gore that you do see it's mostly cgi blood and it's not really all that impressive so and even if they did use practical effects for some of the gore it's it doesn't even look good like look at the terrifier films those films were low budget and they had excellent practical effects with the gore like it's just impressive the way they were able to pull it off but this one it just it doesn't even try like even with the gore sequences it doesn't even try and plus every single one of these girls that is brought into this like that go to this little remote cabin like that is in the hundred acre woods territory they have no characterization like there's like they have no personality you will not remember a single one of their names and it's just they're just bad like they're just they're so generic even even the score in the film is completely generic like because it's mostly royalty free tension music they couldn't even try to even use any of the winnie the pooh themes and put some horror themes into it like it's just royalty free tension music that you would find on youtube and it's just ridiculous and i'm not saying ridiculous in a good way mind you i'm saying it in a very negative way because you have so much potential when you actually want to make Winnie the Pooh a slasher killer. But you do every single red flag possible, which makes us fans feel, one, very insulted, and two, like, it feels like you're not even trying. Now, look, I'm not somebody to wish failure on a filmmaker. Like, I don't want to wish failure on filmmakers or even a production company. It's just, when you make a bad film, I want you to take those criticisms and actually make the next one better. Like your Bambi film, your Peter Pan film, or even your Blood and Honey sequel. Like, take these criticisms and make the next one better. That's all it, that's what matters most. Like, even especially with your film. Just, don't go to our comment sections and just be, be such a jerk about it. Okay? I mean, even Christopher Robin in this film is not even all that memorable. Like... A lot of his character is just very, very whiny and not in a good way. Not even, like, funny in a certain degree. Like, look at All Night Renwright's character in Cocaine Bear. Most of his dialogue was very whiny, but it's actually really funny. But in this one, again, it just takes itself so seriously to a certain degree where you can't even have fun. And plus, the thing is, like, if you really wanted to make this some good, you really should have just leaned more into the Winnie the Pooh lore like there's no characters no kills or anything about the story that says winnie the pooh like there's nothing about it that even says winnie the pooh so it's like why even bother making the movie if you're not even going to do anything with winnie the pooh or even trying to like lean into the lore like it's just i don't know what else to say guys this movie was freaking terrible like I don't understand why this is acceptable, like, as horror fans. Like, look, I know, like, I'm not tr trying to wish failure on the filmmakers or even the production company or the people that were working on this film. I appreciate the efforts and trying. But it's just at the same time, I kind of felt like this was just such a cynical approach to a certain, deg to a certain degree to just to make money. Like, it's like... They grabbed up a public domain property and they found out the quickest way to make money with it. It's just insulting to me. Like, I really don't know what else to add to that, you guys. This film is just horrendous. So it's it is on Amazon like for like ten bucks or something like that. I do not recommend watching this movie. Please save your money and go watch something else. Like like rent a different film or just buy some buy something on physical media like. Either that recently came out that you're wanting to see, or a movie that you love that came out recently. Just this is one of those films I would say you should spend your hard-earned money elsewhere. Just please do not waste your time or money with this movie. You guys probably saw this coming, but there is no doubt that I'm gonna give Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, a big old F. Again, I respect all opinions, like, but it's just the thing is, you guys. I really think you guys should spend your hard-earned money elsewhere, as I said before. Like, go watch something else. Like, you know, go see Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Go watch Super Mario Brothers. Plus, the weirdest thing is that they greenlit a sequel before the film was even announced. And I was like, why?
But of course, this is my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. Did you guys somehow really enjoy this movie? Like, if you guys did, let me know that down in the comments. Um, hit that subscribe button once again and that notification bell right next to it. Hit that thumbs up and share this video. You guys know what to do. And look forward to more videos hitting the channel very soon. I'm going to try to record some more reviews and get them out for you guys. Um, Fast X review coming up this weekend. Um, looking forward to watching Little Mermaid, The Machine, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, Transformers Rise of the Beasts, um, Elemental, The Flash, um, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, Oppenheimer and Barbie, Haunted Mansion, so many movies coming out this summer, guys. Even Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, The Meg 2. There's a lot coming out, so we can look forward to that. And I can't wait to continue on the journey with you guys. So once again, y'all, thank you so much for watching and taking part of Catharsis with me. If you guys want to see more content from me, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.